Text to video models have been elusive to say the least. OpenAI showed off Sora a while ago and we still haven't gotten it in our hands. Meta announced they have a text to video model. We haven't gotten that in our hands either. But a few weeks ago, a company called Genmo AI released an open source, open weights text to video model called Mochi One. And I got it working on my local computer. So today, I'm going to show you how I did that, and then I'm going to show you some examples of the stuff that you can create with it. So here's the model, Mochi One. Just a few weeks ago, this came out. A new state-of-the-art and open-source video generation models. And here is an example. Some wine pouring in a glass, person standing underneath street lights in the rain, some lightning. So it looks pretty darn good. But everyone always thinks with text-to-video, you need to host it in the cloud. But that's not true. I actually got it working and powered by my Dell computer. And in fact, Dell partnered with me on this video to tell you how to do it. So I'm using my Dell Precision Tower. I have two RTX A6000s in it, but I believe I'm only using one of them to power this model. So I wanna thank Dell for partnering with me on this video. I'll drop links to the Dell computer that I have and other information in the description below. So here it is working. This is running locally. I'm using Comfy UI, which I know it's a bit intimidating. It looks scary, but to be honest, I've actually barely used Comfy UI and I was able to get this up and running. I really don't understand much of the settings in here, but it's not so bad to get it up and running. And so here's an example. I typed for the prompt, panda eating bamboo, and there's the video. Now it's only two seconds long. You can definitely make it longer, but of course, then it's gonna take longer to run the actual model inference. All right, so let's install it first, then I'll show you some demos. So the first thing you're gonna do is come to the Comfy UI GitHub page, and I'll drop links to that in the description below. Scroll down, you're gonna look for this installing Comfy UI link. Go ahead and click it and direct link to download. Click that as well. Now put it anywhere you want. I'm gonna put it right on my desktop so it's easy to find. Go ahead and click save. All right, once that's done, go ahead and unzip it. So right click and then click extract all. And I'm gonna extract it to my desktop as well. All right, once that's done extracting, double click and let's just make sure it works. So you're gonna open up the folder and just double click run NVIDIA GPU. This is obviously assuming you have an NVIDIA GPU. Go ahead, double click and it really could not be easier than that. And all right, and there we go, we have it up and running. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is install the Comfy UI Manager, which just makes it easier to install plugins and nodes and all that stuff. So to do that, you're gonna to come to the Comfy UI Manager GitHub page. Again, we'll drop that in the description below. And then we're gonna to come to this green code button, click it, click copy to keyboard. Next, you're gonna open up your terminal and you're going to CD into the Comfy UI folder that we just extracted. All right, so I CD'd into the desktop. Now we're going to CD into the Comfy UI folder right there, okay? Then CD into this Comfy UI Windows Portable. You're going to, again, CD into Comfy UI. I know this is nested within nested within nested, but that's just what you have to do. And then type LS and you're gonna look for custom nodes. And so you're gonna CD into custom nodes. From there, you're gonna type git clone and then paste that URL that we copied earlier, hit enter. Okay, so that's done. Now, all you have to do is start up Comfy UI again. Let's just make sure the manager works. So to do that, again, just double click this run NVIDIA GPU link right there. All right, and we're done. Now we have this little manager button right there and now we know it works. So click it and there it is. The next thing you're gonna have to do is install this Comfy UI Mochi wrapper. And this is by somebody named Kijai, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. And again, we'll drop that in the description below. Go ahead, click this green code button, click copy to keyboard. So come back to your terminal where you had, so come back to your terminal where you had Comfy UI running. Go ahead and just exit out of there, stop the server, terminate the batch. Then you're gonna open up terminal again. And in custom nodes, same thing, git clone, and then paste in that URL, hit enter. So that should be done. Now let's spin up Comfy UI again, and now it should have both of those things ready to go. Next, come to manager, go to custom nodes manager, and you're gonna search for something called video. And you're looking for this right here, Comfy UI Video Helper Suite. And if you don't already have it installed, go ahead and install it. It should just work. You might need to refresh Comfy UI after that, but once you install it, it should have a refresh button there. And the other thing you wanna do is come back and type K 
j nodes and make sure you have this helper installed as well all right next we need to actually load it up so come down here click load and then you're going to come to the comfy ui mochi wrapper folder then you click examples and you can choose any of these examples i'm going to go ahead and start with this 49 frames version and hit open there is the entire workflow right there. The first time that it runs, it should download the model automatically. That is what this node is right there. So let's go ahead and see if it works. Okay, so sometimes you get a little error when you start. It's weird, all you have to do is double click this right here and then it'll work. I don't know why, but it does. Now we can see that this node is green, which means it is downloading. So I can see right here, it says initializing model and it should be downloading right now. All right, so I'm not gonna download it again since I already downloaded it. I'll open up my other instance of Comfy UI and it should have everything good to go already. So here we are. Now right here is where you're gonna type your prompt. So right now it says, nature video of a red panda eating bamboo in front of a waterfall. You click Q prompt and it should just work. There we go, downloading the model. So now it shows as initializing the model. And if I click over and look at my GPU, so one of the GPUs isn't being used, the other one is, and we can see it is loading up the model right there. And it does take a while the first time that you load this model. And it of course takes even longer if you have to download it the first time. So just keep that in mind, it is a slow process. Process. but there we go we see it's working now and you can see the speed right here and the total time for running this is about three and a half minutes predicted so we can see here now it is highlighting the mochi sampler node right there and then it should move on to the mochi ve vae and then it'll put it all together and then we'll get a preview of the video i can hear the fan on my machine spinning up so i definitely know it's working now this is a quantized version so it's definitely not going to be as good as the full version but it'll be possible to actually run on your computer and i'm using the q8 version i likely could fit a much larger model on my machine because i have 96 gigabytes of vram but for now, this is sufficient. I just wanna show it to you working. And here we go, we're at 60% now, 63%. So while that's finishing, I'll show you some of the settings that you can play around with. So right here, if you did want to adjust the precision, basically the quantization, you can select it right here. So FP32, FP16, you can change the attention mode, a bunch of settings actually. Obviously here is the prompt, here's the negative prompt, and then you can adjust the width, the height, the number of frames. So 49, about two seconds. And if you want it longer, you just adjust that right there. Number of steps seed etc and yeah lots of different settings that you can do here here you can adjust the frame rate the format of the output video it's really nice and pretty easy but also really deep and sophisticated if you need it to be okay so next it should move on to the vae node there we go we're on to the decoding and this doesn't take nearly as long by the way all right there it is and we have our text to video I really did not think we were gonna have text to video that we can run locally on a lot of high-end consumer grade hardware so soon. Obviously the machine that I have next to me is not really consumer grade hardware. It is a workstation meant for high-end work. But if you decrease the precision, you can probably get this running in your machine too. Or of course, you can get one of these beautiful towers from Dell. So there it is, a red panda eating bamboo in front of a waterfall. All right, and I wanna show you one more example of text to video. So I'm gonna do kid riding a bike and we'll see what it comes up with. So I started running it and we're done. All right, there it is, a kid riding a bicycle. So as you can see, a lot of mistakes in the video, but it looks pretty good. And again, I'm using a quantized version and this is running locally and I'm pretty impressed overall. So that's it. Let me know if you can get it to work. If you can't, drop comments below. Hopefully I'll jump in and help you. And if that doesn't work, jump in my Discord. We'll try to help you in there as well. I wanna say thank you one more time to Dell and NVIDIA for partnering with me on this video. It is so nice having a monster PC that I can put towards awesome tutorials just like this. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.